Okay, it is the 2nd of June. Uh, we are done with our throw phase and we're into a phase of letting the students pick a night. Oh, crap. <laughs> I know, I know. So tonight is uh, Jackie Buck's night and Jackie Buck wanted to bring out this. This is her plan. Um, basically looking at you know, being a kind of smaller in stature, using how can we use this tool and the angling um, that it provides, that it amplifies to her advantage. Uh, so yeah, I think I got a couple ideas on things that we've done kind of recently that we can say, okay, now with a humble we do it like this, or notice the similarities, or oh, notice the other angles we can use now because of this extra kind of joint. Mm -hmm. okay. I think uh, I think it's a good opportunity to practice uh, to practice uh, some kata, uh, especially something with some striking in it. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, so the combo is a great striking instrument, but also I mean the, the tie ups, man. Uh, oh. I, I think we should get some necks tonight. Oh, we haven't really choked anybody in a long time. Have we you choked anybody this year? I don't think so, man. Because then you're like breathing in their ear, and you're like, oh, oh yeah, no, you can't do that. Oh yeah. my god! But no, we can't. So yeah. that'll be a lot of fun. All right, let's, let's do it. it. All right. There's your calories for the day. There you go, there you go. You didn't even need those steps. <laughs> That's a little warm up. Oh, it's a warm up. Yeah. 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 So, happy yeah, right. Wednesday, the 2nd. Uh, so, as we all mostly know, and welcome back, Mr. Peck. If you would just step off the side, you have a camera filming your ass right now. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That, that's how he welcomes it back. Um, so, for you guys who have never met Greg, Greg Craig with us back in the uh, early days. What, to, until like what, 2011? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 2010. Oh my god. Welcome back. Yeah. Decade from the Um Yeah, so I think a couple of you had a chance to train with the doc, we'll get a chance tonight. So we all just wrapped up the uh, six months of pro work that we just did. And before we went to ground, we decided, hey, let's take a month and kind of look at the stuff that you guys want to look at. Maybe you haven't seen for a while, want to revisit, want to talk about. And we decided to say we're going to give each one of you a class. Like there's going to be your class, your class, your class, your class, your class. And the job was to kind of let us know a couple of days ahead of time, uh, you know, what you want to work on, what you want to look like. It could be anything. And tonight is Jackie Fox. Okay. So Jackie has decided that she wants to look at Hubble. But specifically because of Jackie's, I mean, they, I mean, I'm not going to give away anything, Jackie's a little smaller than some of us here, even though that is actually a massive advantage to her. Sometimes, you know, that can be a disadvantage. She's just like, how can I use this tool to actually help me out in kind of maybe some of those other situations and kind of tie it back into some of the stuff that we were been looking at, the angling and stuff like that, to make sure it's all nice and perfect, correct? Okay, so we're gonna start with some things that most of you kind of already know. Uh, we're gonna look at some striking options, some pinning options, some wrist grab options, some arm options, and then just some fun stuff. Because one of the cool things about a pombo is A, not only does it make your arm longer, but it kind of gives you this extra joint. It makes this hand lock, so you get these angles that you really can't get to with a normal arm. Okay, plus this aspect of actually tying your arms together and actually helping to deliver more power through your body. So there's some, some instances you're going to see that the angle is almost exactly the same as what we have done before, just longer. But in other instances, because of this extra kind of joint, we're actually going to be turned around to make it a little bit more efficient. So to kind of start off, because I think it's been all a couple months since we've all kind of had almost in our hands, like a bar on this puck. We're going to drop this first. We're going to look at the, the Sino Kata that we looked at back in phase two, which is a right lunge coming out, hitting. Just simple. Stepping on the 20, hitting with this Kudo Ken, and then coming back around, watching that footwork, watching that angle in time, because I don't want to do this. Stepping back, delivering that shot. Now, you can drop the neck and push them on the chest. We're still warming up. Let's do that a couple times just to get used to that movement again. Again, moving on from the Tishimon to the Kurokan. Stepping back almost as reverse Yoko Ruki and delivering this content shootout right into the neck and stepping back. A couple times just to get warm. And then we'll see how do we do that with a hombo. So, partner up. At least one person have a hombo, please. All right. 
So unarmed to start. I am Mr. Craig. Uh, so one of the things I'm just noticing looking around is if you haven't had a chance to really kind of come in with us and look at Sumino Kati yet, one of the things I'm seeing are folks, this is coming around almost like a big awesome power Sumino you know, and, uh, and that's not like, that's not very groovy, baby. So <laughs> this guy is going to come in straight. Our body goes, <laughs> it's, coming, it's coming in there. The, the idea is that that's the efficient path, and it's also the path that's aligned with your body. My body right now is pointed this way, for things to go this way. It's not pointed for things to go this way. Yeah? You guys make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Take a picture. Yeah. So, Mate, Mate, Mate. So, one thing I've mentioned to a couple people, Matt, um, Punch comes in, is this, I can't just step in. I'm too close, I'm too down the center line, the Shuto would glance off him, it's not really gonna go into him, I'd be better at coming in straight in. It's not quite what I'm looking for here. And the reason is because I stepped right straight in. Distance is too close. Punch comes at boom. This Yoko Ruki changes my angle, so I'm attacking him now from this side. Well, now that Chuto makes a lot more sense going right into him. That is set up by the distancing from where this foot goes. So if this is here, boom, too close. I need to bring this back. Ooh, this sets my angle, but also sets my distance. So I'm like, oh, I want to get you right from here. And that's what power is, okay? And that's the trick to this. That's one thing that this concept is teaching us, is, is that distance and angling control. Because a shoot though like this is, <laughs> no point, like literally no point, okay? So let's watch that foot for the kick. And the reason why it's going to come back into play when we grab the hombo in about two minutes. Oh, okay, Mate, Mate, Mate. This is the hombo class. Now we've got to get it warmed up. This is my hombo. Okay, this is my hombo. Okay, so now, Jackie. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Come, come, come. Okay, so now we're looking at this Fudo Ken coming in. Oh, popping from here. Well, I can't necessarily do that kind of shot. With this combo really wouldn't work that way. I could, it'd be hard for me to like jam right into her arm. It's kind of too small. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get it here and then kind of come in. But let's try to stay with the original target and see well, how does this combo change things? Well, I actually have this little chamber on So it's Jack Phillips. What? Where? So I mean here. What's up here? What? Well, now obviously I get this extra three feet that I got to deal with. The footwork is the same. So uh, I got, uh, one of the questions that I, I got here was, okay, so what, what's kind of the nature of this strike? Uh, how does it actually look? Uh, sorry if I, if I can steal you out here. So that right's coming in, boom, we stepped off. I'm gonna have you back up now. And right now what we're practicing is we're sort of practicing this, this kind of, almost sort of pushing strike because, well, we kind of have these wooden sticks. This is almost kind of, you know, fragile. So, same attacks coming in, stepping off, boom, uh, as, as we're coming in, and now I'm gonna have you back up, Imagine the strike was, and, and, it was re, and it was really coming in. The idea was that you're essentially swinging a baseball bat as someone's head. As you're rotating around. Yeah, yeah, uh, kind of high damage. <laughs> so, uh, so again, please, please continue to, to push that strike for now, but understand that that strike would be, boom, uh, clubbing somebody uh, with the last like two, three inches of the hop up. Keep going. Watch that. So the first thing, so there's two things I've seen so far. Uh, just, so I've seen a lot of people come out and they're, they're picking this up in the air. It's not gonna do much to them. This isn't enough power in the raising of that shoulder. So we're looking at this again from like kind of a smaller perspective. I'm gonna push down this a bit. But notice I'm getting my whole side of my body sinking into that. 
and this is now the counter lever over here that's going up with that same amount of force. Wow! All right. So really, keep this hand here, push down this, not just arm, but the whole sinking body. Okay. From here. Just like we were on the Sweden Captain, this arm was coming back. All right, I have some cover, just in case for some odd reason he comes in with something else. Okay, pulling this back for maximum efficiency. Pulling this back. Now, as this comes around, again, it's not out and around, it's more straight up. You can do this with a hobble because it's light. All right, but it will affect your targeting. I like to keep both my hands on it at all times, so I can control it because I can't see it behind my head. Okay. All right, so first point of performance, this. Second point, as this is pulling back, and there's even a little pull there to it, very end. Okay, so this is a pulling instrument. All right, not a lead hand, a backhand instrument, not a lead hand instrument. Does that make sense? All right, go ahead. You can't, you can't do it with a bow staff. Yeah. Monte, one just, one just quick thing. Uh, Aaron, he comes in. Boom. As this is being drawn back up, one of the other things I can do to gain a little bit more power is throw this backwards. So it's not just my hand, this could be heavier. Yeah, heavier light pipe or something like that. Turning this around, so I'm actually as I'm going to start, I'm just going to throw this behind my head. Whoa! And actually, almost that kicks off the whole rotation. That's so right from the top, like a helicopter blade deciding to spin the helicopter. Okay, so that's one trick you can use to actually get a little bit more power, a little bit more momentum. If this is coming up, it's being pulled back. Throw this behind. Whoa! And then follow it right down through. Okay, make sense? Good. 30 seconds. Yeah. In training. Actual, first. first note. Okay, so uh, uh, let's see, Mr. Matt. So, so one of the things that I'm seeing is uh, is folks uh, kind of moving themselves out of line. Matt, the power to throw a jab at Matt, and I threw it like this. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm seeing happening a little bit. What, what that looks like is this. It looks like this. You can see I'm, I'm not actually doing the cut anymore. I'm not even thinking, am I? Uh, what, what I'd like you to do is imagine you're stepping back into water. This is getting caught and sent with the bottom of the hollow. Boom. This is the action. From here, hey, we have our alignment. We're, we're essentially here. From there, now we have a little bit of position from which to throw this. Second note, a little second note for you guys is you can catch this and try to send it off to the side, which kind of puts you back in the same problem, or Catch it, send it off that way, almost like we're putting it back onto his heels. Now range has been maintained, and he's stuck right, right in the danger zone. Uh, you're stopping them right about where the artillery is hitting the ground. Uh, that's, that, that's a nice tactic, so did great in World War I. Andrew, keep going. Back, back. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. So, uh, no. Okay, so because we now have this extra long arm with this extra joint, it gives us an option. This is a this is a hard throw, unarmed, especially on the outside. Really hard. But with this, it makes it a lot easier. So as he comes in, if I'm here, and I want this reaction, it's going to be very hard for me to get that reaction if I'm throwing him this way. Anything, I'm going to probably turn that punch right into my face. So I got to reverse engineer this this extra long arm. Here. Well, now I'm good. Okay? Now I'm good. I'm still seeing a lot of people pushing forward with this. The one analogy I think stands for most. Everyone here played pool at one point in time. How many times have you ever lined up for a pool shot? That back. Hit with the front arm. It's the guide arm. This is the guide arm. Whoa! This stays. It's right on line with the stakes. It stayed, this stayed the whole time. It was this. This movement, this did it. What, there was none of this. It was a pull down on this. I can push down on this way higher than I can ever push up with this arm. And if I push up, it's so slow. I'm gonna bring that back. Uh-oh, I don't wanna do that. Nope. 
Right there. Quick. Okay? So here, even if anything, hands being in weird spots on the hombo that are not quite conducive to what you're trying to do. So imagine your hombo is in thirds, and we're grabbing it in thirds, yeah? So what's happening, uh, Mr. Miles is, is throwing his punch, and I have my hand lined up, say my fourth hand, which is my fulcrum, is say in front of the last third. What happens is I get to here, and that's all the action <laughs> that I'm getting, which is just, just not enough to really save me. At halfway, a little bit better, but not quite. We're gonna get about that last third. We're lining up on that last third. Now, oh, itchy. a lot more power and a lot more control. One of the reasons why, why I'm seeing pushing is because people's hands are bored, and so the only way that they can get this, to get this hand moved is they have to push. You're, you're, you can already tell that you won't have the power there to really affect them, and now when you're like, holy moly, I gotta like, try to get some distance. Uh, thirds of the hombo. Thirds of the hombo every time. That's a, that's a very easy rule to kind of start with. Questions? 30 more seconds on us, we're gonna move on. Mate. Okay. So, the averages show different aspects. Actually, Jack, I'll let you. Do you want to perfect this or do you want to look it up yourself? Um, I, I think we should. I feel like we might be going a little faster with some of them, so let's take a few yeah. more minutes on it. Alright, third class, so she can say, three more minutes. You heard the lady. <laughs> Extra light, guys. Okay, okay. We're moving on. Your class might be short. We have another lever, all right? So let's spend a couple minutes looking at Oni Kadaki. This is Pat, right? We'll let you grab. Okay, everyone's seen it, remember it? You put the pressure on it? One, up under, pulling, pushing, rotating, collapsing, destroying. Okay, you need to see it, you need to see it. Sure. Nice, get the right. Okay, this is a multi only kid All right, anyone else? Great, great lunch. Towards me, away from me, as I unroll, pushing up slightly, pulling down slightly as I turn my head, clasping, I'm perpendicular to him. Alright, couple minutes with your present partner, just to kind of remember that. Okay, so Monte, just a quick, uh, let's have just a quick little of Yudaki refresher, David. So, as this comes in, it, this is up facing you. We go into this like a cross. No, the position of my legs. So as I start to pull back out of that cross, I can push up on this, and I can pull down on this. And in place, I can get it. Again, the reason this is here like this is so it ends like this here. So now David can't push out. If I'm like this, David can, David can get out of that late in the game. Out of here, so this, this, this arm is vertical, so now he can't push out of it. Okay? So we're doing uh, him just so you can see. He comes in. And the reason why is because you're going to come in play with the hopper. Okay, Mate. Good, good, good. So now let's work it from a uh, cheaper um, grab punch. Grab boom. Yeah. Okay, so now from a grab punch. All right, so that's where we're going to go for the hopper. You've seen, you've seen it, you know the mechanics, and you know how to for pressure. Grab punch, we're doing the punching, the grabbing arm is when I'm the only good knock done to it after you deflect the punch. Good. Mate. Mate. 
Okay, so now we have this extra long arm with this extra um, Six. joint. Six. Six. Which is right here. Grab one. Boom. Grab. So now, because I have this extra length and this extra option, I don't necessarily have to go in here now like this. So I have an extra three feet. It's actually a lot harsher on the arm. The way to do this is you're going to put this, so get from the head of the gym, face, whatever. I'm just going to push this back over his arm to the outside of my shoulder. I don't want to hit myself in the head. Once this goes over, this hand's just going to cover it. Here. I'm going to do the same thing. As this is, I'm going to get this hand a little upward. I'm going to get this a little downward. I'm going to go Okay. So with uh, that. Notice, we're on that last third. 
The last third of the hombo should be what's in their neck. You don't have to have this grabbed in any capacity right now. If you do, hey, good for you. From here, now there we go. Much easier here. Much, much, much easier. I'm seeing a lot of folks, I try to push this thing in a position and they're getting all up in the neck and shoulder area. It's right up over the elbow, except instead of you know, reaching back through and doing this, we're letting it travel underneath the chin. And in reality, you let, them hit them, you let that hit them in the face. Their face does this, and then it kind of conveniently falls into that little neck space. And then it's the crank from there. And this is literally all the crank that you need uh, for the most part. If you're a lot smaller and the first is a lot bigger, you can have that second hand out for a little bit more uh, crank action. So um, here's my kind of mid-1990s action toy over here. You know? like, uh, any questions? You go. Mate, I'm sorry to pause you guys one more time. I got one more little quick tip, uh, uh, Mr. Gray. Uh, so this can absolutely be done up close in the, in the similar sense that we were working on the last technique, uh, where we're kind of working here, and it's, it's totally possible to do this here. But what if you were to kind of pull them out on line a little bit? Uh, now here we are. We're out. We've kind of done this Ishimonji, and now my radius is as such where it's much, much narrower. So, oh. <laughs> so you can try stretching them out. And if you're having constant issues trying to get this place in here because you're here and you're saying, shoot, his elbow is tucked all the way up against my chest. I literally can't get my elbow in here and now it's looking like this. Uh, try stretching them out. Now, it's a little bit, it's a little bit easier. Uh, play with it, play with it. For you, some of your darker belts too, again, it, Need to be able to get into this from this right hand, but the hombo may not start there. It could be in this hand for some reason. That's the grab that's coming. You deflect it. Pull. Shift it up. All right. Work it. Look at actually getting in and actually shifting that hand off as you need to. All right. Where's that little switch of room? Be high level belts. All right. Lot off the mat. Lot off the mat. So mate, mate. So we have one more today. But this is for this is for Jack. So let me grab. He's in there. Okay. So comes in. So ah, yes. ah, I got this. He's here. His feet goes and grabs him. Oh, damn it. Well, I I'm pulling. I'm just gonna. I'm I'm Jackie. I know I can't pull this. I'm gonna reverse myself to the other side of this, and I'm gonna shove this thing right up to heaven. And as I was showing some people, this angle here, you know, the hombo is straight up and down. I'm going to push forward a little bit, dig this into the ground, get my foot around it, and get him lean right back to his neck. So I'm actually going to pull into his neck with the hombo and push him. Anyway. So, no. <laughs> here. Here, this pushing, this pulling, with my attempt to get my knee across my combo. That's my goal. Good time for a forward roll, too. Okay? okay. <laughs> One option. Other thing that can happen, so this is in here. This is kind of coming around here. Maybe, oh, he doesn't like this. And I just have. I have to pull this in right here. Oh no. I go back to the side too. And it's a very quick fall for him. Because there's nothing holding him up. I'm holding up here and he's holding up here. And I'm right back in that position. And he's still managed to put a lot of pressure on his chin if I want. And I go in, kick. If he can have a play as fast as time to show you another offer.
left, right. Okay? The one behind him again to a choke. We've all seen it, right? Just get off the left, we get off this right, pull. We're just maybe kicking it out, kicking it here, hitting this choke. Alright? Just a couple times on arm. Just a couple times on arm. Never throw the hot low in there. So <laughs> say, yeah. Who wants to feel this? Okay. Revert left. Boom. Right. Boom. Now note, because I have this additional line, I'm turned around now. I'm not here. Because of this connection, I now have the option to be here, but still have a lead side going into this. Did you notice the difference there? So this is what I was talking about before, where the humble actually now gives me options I never had before. Whoop. Whoop. This is when I kick out his legs and I go back into Tatoko Yoshi. <laughs> Don't do that. Leave them right there and let them go. It's a precarious way to fall because the more they go this way, the more their neck goes this way, the more this goes into them. I will show you one trick on this stuff. So one, yep. two, boom. As this shoots in and I'm here, my grip isn't great. Notice it's just my fingertips right now. But I have a good X across his back of his neck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna curl my hands into a fist. And I didn't do anything other than that. Because my hands curling into a fist are way stronger than Jesse's trachea. So we can imagine if that's both happening with this. At the same time as I go down to the technique system here for sure. Let him off. All right. All right. Been training a long time. You don't need to have a broken neck in the last minute. Jack, you want to feel it? It's your night. <laughs> so first one coming off for that hit that we did before. Second one coming. Whoa. Tight on this side, tight on this side. My hands are, no, I'm not out here. I have a nice X right around her neck. This is snug already. I tighten my hands, oh, 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 oh I sink down. It's an instantaneous reaction, all right? Oh, okay. <laughs> he chose his shit. I did. <laughs> all right, new partner, new partner. Absolutely roughly your own height. Make life maybe a little bit easier on the uh, on, on the entry with the humble across the throat. Uh, left, right. So if you try to push this into position, you, you'll, you'll probably be okay. But notice I only have about like my maybe 10 inches of this past. You can also pull cue this through. And now I have all this stuff on the other end. There are other techniques. Where, where you're going to be using that end to create compression as well. Um, I like this because I just, I have a little bit of room for error on the other end of that. Uh, so, two, there you go. If you, if you push it in, just be aware, you're gonna have to cover that ground as well. Yeah, that's all, keep going. Woo! Then you throw the hummus. I just wanna show you one, one little quick trick on this. Um, Aaron, can I borrow your neck, please? <laughs> so, very, oh, very, okay. so very easy, as I come in through here, and I hit her in the baseball sometimes, to stick this in and go, oh my god, I gotta get over here. Well, in that whole time frame, I'm relying on speed and quickness, and that Aaron doesn't try to grab the thing that's right on his throat, which he's obviously going to want to do. So how can I make this a little bit more efficient, you know, and, and maybe prevent that counter? So typically the grip is kind of coming in like this. I'm going to pull in on this a little bit, and I'm going to take this thumb, and I'm going to brace in on it a little bit. Wow, it's a little something right there already, right? It kind of simulates this. Oh. So now it is, oh, now I, can, now I can roll over that a lot. Because there's something actually distracting him. This isn't just here. This is here. Oh. I said, oh. that um, helps grip this V. This V puts pressure into his neck. And you know it. This is loose, and I'm relying on time. <coughs> Crank that in 
first and then go. Yeah. Ms. Buck, is there anything else you would like us to address? Um, no, I just wanted everybody to know that the reason I was doing this was just to help us with like angling and things, but also that small people's schools are very effective for us. Everybody's going to be small at some point. Some <laughs> Yeah, uh, there was, we could do this for, a, we could do this for a whole face right here. We didn't even look, get a chance, I wanted to see if we could get the wrist locks, some of the wrist locks we've seen like Omiyaku and Mokiyaku and Urgiyaku, and how that changes now that I have this extended extra wrist. Um, but, I'll oh, obviously didn't get to, uh, but I will, we'll pick it up at some other point in time. And so, Kind of, this was the first time through everyone kind of, you know, looking at, you know, this is like, this was Jackie's thing, this is what Jackie's thing. Give you a flavor, kind of what's going on. Now you, she could have picked, show me this kata, or show me this ground technique, or show me this situation, or show me that thing that we worked on, or, or show me this as it pertains to me. Cool. Okay, the guy, I think the idea, I think Adam has the next one, I believe. I believe she called it, uh, last week's, which would be Saturday. All right, and Saturday will last for um, any questions on tonight on the format? Anything? Thank you, Miss Buck. Very nice. Very nice. Bye. All right, we're going to have a great rest of your week. A lot of time to run. Wow.